welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a very exciting episode of our decades challenge I am super excited because we had a lot happen <laughs> um, in the last time we joined this household so it's time to go check in on Harry and what he's gonna do about the whole uh, Stanley situation <laughs> We have a lot to get through today, so I hope you guys are excited. Um, if you haven't already, please consider hitting subscribe and joining our family here, and let's get to it. Okay, so when I first loaded into the game, it said that Charles was done school. So he, oh look, so he got seven of 12, five more credits to do, so he did fail that one class. However, his GPA is um, an A+. So he is out here feeling fine. I think he is pretty proud of himself and he totally should be. So uh, we're going to have to enroll Charles back in school and I think what we're going to do is we're going to let him move back into the school where back into the dorms where he was living before because this house is starting to get super full. Uh, 2,000 seemed to cover him last time he was gone. So we're just gonna quickly drop him off at school and then we'll go back to the other house. All right, so we are back at the house. Charles has moved out. Harry has a lot to think about. So if you guys remember in the last episode, Harry found out that he had a child with um, Carrie. Here he is. So here's little Stanley. We don't know much about him. And as you can see, he's got a little bit of a love bar and a little bit of a relationship with Carrie, but he doesn't know her super well. Now, I was super confused as to how I was going to handle this situation, and you guys had a lot of good things to say about it. So I really appreciate your guys' comments on the situation. Now, I went and I started to do some research and some digging on how illegitimate children <laughs> were handled back in the 1920s. So basically back then, if a man and a woman had a baby out of marriage, then that child was considered illegitimate. And usually it would be a very uncomfortable and unusual situation for a woman to find herself in. Um, it would mean that she would have a lot of financial struggles and she probably wouldn't be treated very kindly in the community because most men did not want to marry a woman who had a child with another man. It wasn't a great situation to be in. So either kids started to get put into adoption or a very common thing that would happen back then is actually the mother of the daughter would actually pretend to be pregnant. She would wear a pillow or extra clothing around her stomach area um, and she would actually hide away her eldest daughter for the entire period of the pregnancy while she was showing. And they would actually try to pass it off as just a, a late pregnancy and that it, it wasn't her daughter's and the mother would claim the child. Now, as far as I know, from what I could see, Carrie does not have any children. So that leaves us with a few different things. So either Harry could take responsibility and marry her, so that way she doesn't suffer from financial hardship, or she can put Stanley up for adoption. And I personally don't think that Stanley would go for adoption. So I believe that after speaking with Alice, I believe that Harry has come to the conclusion that in order to do the right thing, not only by Carrie, but also by his son, he needs to marry Carrie. Now, they really don't have a lot in common and they also don't know much about each other. Um, but he is going to move her into the family home. He is going to take financial responsibility of her and he is going to do it quietly. They are not going to make a wedding announcements. They're not going to invite anybody except for Alice and maybe Daniel um, because that's his closest friend. Um, but that is basically how he is going to handle it. So I think that Alice would be very pleased with this decision because Alice, um, <laughs> Aussie Cast Plays actually made a really awesome comment about this saying how Alice wouldn't allow it. And you're right, she totally wouldn't. Alice would drag Harry down the aisle to marry Higa or to marry Carrie um, and make sure he takes care of his son and she would make sure that they were brought to the family home. So with all of that being said, so there's a lot of things that we're going to be transitioning today and it's all definitely unexpected. Oh, Alice is just painting up a storm over here. Go ahead and sell this. So 
basically what we're going to do is we're going to move Harry and um, we're going to move Stanley and um, Carrie into the home. It is the family home. This is the home that uh, Harry would be inheriting because he is the eldest living son. He's the eldest son and we know that Emma has moved on and she's gotten married. So this is actually um, Harry's inheritance first before anybody else's. So it makes sense that his family, his soon to be wife and child would be living here. So with that being said, I think Harry has a conversation to have with Daniel because I think with everything going on, we're just not going to have space for him anymore. I <laughs> definitely had a different storyline planned for Daniel, but with the, everything going on with Harry right now, I think that it would be best for us to do his story separate as a side story and I think that will be okay plus I love Daniel so I have no problem playing with him <laughs> well that didn't sound good <laughs> you know what I mean so I'm gonna have Harry come over and I want him to have a deep conversation with Daniel just to you know explain the situation to him and say you know I'm really sorry it's not that I want to just kick you to the curb but it's an important thing that he makes room for um, his his family, you know. So Harry's going to come over and he's going to have a deep conversation with Daniel. And he is going to just explain everything to him and say, you know, I'm, I really wanted you to be here. You're still welcome anytime. But, you know, with everything going on with Carrie and Stanley, I have to, I have to think of what the right choice is now. So he's going to have a deep conversation and explain everything to him. And I think Daniel would understand. Now, it's not like Daniel has nowhere to go. Daniel has a very wealthy family, and I know that they will take him in. And eventually we will, like I said, we will do our side story episode with Daniel, just so we can go a little bit more in detail in how I was planning on developing him. So stay tuned for that. Alrighty, you guys. So what we've done is we've moved Daniel out, and we've actually moved... Um, Carrie, and I think she is so beautiful. I really think she's actually quite a unique looking Sim. Um, I will give the rest of her outfits to her now that she is going to be in the storyline. Um, and I'll also make sure little Stanley gets his little makeover. He's so cute. I've moved them in that way they can get prepared for the wedding. But the first thing I want to do is I want to try to rearrange this house. Alrighty, you guys. So what we have done is, first off, I did a bunch of, like, landscaping. I haven't done it. I've been so bad. Oh, me plus you. Do you guys remember when Elias gave this tree to Alice when they first got together? And it's grown into this beautiful love bench. <sighs> Anyways, um, so yeah, I did a lot of landscaping and I like I put more flowers and stuff just to make it look a little bit more real. But the big main change is this back piece, which is a huge add-on. And basically what it's gonna be is this entrance is gonna be the entrance for Harry and his wife, well, his soon-to-be wife. So you know how you go through here into the living room? Well, if you go through here, you have their little apartment now, or like little wing of the house, if you will. So uh, we have a little bed and stuff like that for little Stanley. And then they also have a door that connects to the shared bathroom in the house. And yes, yeah, so this is where they will sleep for now. So we have everyone here so i think the first thing that um alice would want to do is she would want to introduce herself properly oh look she's trying to get to know edward okay well let's have edward do a friendly i'm sorry what she's an adult she's actually older than harry you guys I never knew that. She is older than Harry. So let's get Edward, I guess, to do a friendly hello. 
He can ask about her day. So Edward's being super friendly. He's always been like the big bubbly one of the group. So Edward's actually gonna play with his little nephew and keep him company. Um, Carrie is just sitting down. I think she's um, just trying to adjust to her, her new lifestyle. She's very tall, I've noticed. So I think what we're gonna do is I think um, Alice would come over and be really friendly and very accommodating and brighten her day, kind of, you know, making sure she feels super welcome in the house. So she's just gonna get to know her and ask about her and whatever she thinks she needs to know, you know, how'd you and Harry meet, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So I think that, um, Carrie definitely will feel welcome. I mean, how can you not feel welcome in this house? I mean, it's Alice, right? It's gonna be hard because Harry is going to marry Carrie, um, but they really don't have a lot in common, so I think I am gonna send them out tonight just to go for dinner um, because I don't actually think he can even ask her to... Um, to maybe even be his girlfriend yet. No, so they need to get to know each other a little bit more so that way they can actually get married because right now they can't. I'm gonna download this little country restaurant by Clay Plays The Sims. A little bit more dated looking, so that makes me happy, okay. So these two are here for dinner. Let's uh, get Harry changed into something a little bit more cleaned up there we go okay so I'm gonna get him to come over here I guess we have to wait for the staff to get here so while we're waiting for the restaurant to open let's try oh she just fell that's great let's brighten her day and friendly let's maybe she seems like a fun chick she's a music lover oh I just like her mom his mo and we have to remember she is military so like she can maybe help Harry get through his PTSD because she you know she's in the army to or in the military also so she might actually be the perfect match for Harry when we didn't even realize it because she might be able to help him get through that that uh, situation, you know, like maybe she'll be more understanding of things like when he's not being a good husband and stuff, like she'll get it. Okay, so now we can request a table. She's just like, I brought some chili. <laughs> can you put that food away so we can eat with Harry? Thank you. Where are you going? Oh, maybe they'll get set out here. Here's your table. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Apparently our waiter is the vampire. Okay, so um, let's order for table. Oh, I meant for that to be Harry, but that's okay. So they're not super rich, so maybe they'll just get some cheap red nectar. And I don't think they would get like a five-course meal. Maybe they will just get, um, I think I'm going to get them the spinach and mushroom quiche. There we go. Oh, he's feeling flirty and so is she. Okay, so let's try to see if we can get to know her a little bit better. Thank you, Vlad, for ruining the ambiance of our date night. So, let's ask her if she's single. Um, so she is single, so she's not in a relationship with anyone else. That's good to know. Is there any other get-to-knows? Do we know everything about her now? Outgoing music lover. She's got some great traits so far. You know, I have to say, the Sims that surprise me the most are people like Carrie and people, uh, Sims like Carrie and Sims like Alice. Completely unexpected in the storyline, but they become the most loving and actually some of the most fun Sims to have. Like, oh look, they're flirting. I didn't do that. Or maybe I did. I don't think I did though. Um, but anyways, like Alice was a hundred percent unexpected. If you guys remember, I had made so many Sims for Elias to be with, um, and he ended up choosing Alice, and she was heartbroken before they had made the choice. 
Um, Harry says, wow, look at you, Carrie. It should be a crime to look that fine. Aww. I think these guys are actually gonna be okay. I really wasn't expecting this. Genuinely. So they're both feeling pretty flirty. What does she want to do? She wants to make out with Harry. Oh, he's not feeling so great. <laughs> I think I'm gonna send these two home, but I do have to say I am genuinely feeling that they may be actually perfect for each other. Like, they're getting along really well. Aw, she's a geek. I love that for her. Um, so I guess we should go pay our bill because I never remember to pay the bill and meal and pay the bill. Um, and you know, they can't get engaged yet, but I do find it interesting that, um, they get along so well. What does he want to do here? He wants to kiss Carrie and she wants to make out. Oh my gosh, is there a kiss available? Oh my gosh, Vlad. Okay, we're gonna send these two home. The scare of Vlad's bats uh, just scared them a little bit too much for them to hit it off really well. Fortunately, the restaurant just happens to be across the street from their home. <laughs> So that's good. So I'm actually feeling really good about this. Like, I think this is something that could be a good thing. So while the kids are at, while Theo and Edward are at school today, that's when the wedding is gonna happen. Like I said, this is something that is a super private event. Um, they wouldn't be sending out wedding announcements and, you know, having a big party like Emma had or, um, Alice and Elias had because they don't want people to really know that they had a child out of wedlock. So it's kind of like a, ooh, let's just forget this happened. Let's sweep it under the rug. And yes, miraculously, miraculous, miraculously we've had a child. So I think uh, once the boys go off to high school, we will quickly um, give her her little wedding look. And then we will... Um, Go get married. I'm gonna have Alice come over here and I'd like her to cook like a bigger cake if she can. Let's just do a strawberry cake. Um, just so there is something for the two of them when they get home. Now, I also want to age up Elsie in today's episode because I know technically she is actually younger than Doris. I just wanna age her up because I don't know how long it'll be until I'm back in this house after this wedding because I do have to go see Nellie in the city and we have to age up Doris. So we're just gonna do it a little bit out of order just so it's taken care of. Oh, Alice is looking so much older. Okay, come over here and we will add some birthday candles. Okay, so little Elsie is blowing out her candles. So while we're in cast, we will do Elsie's makeover and we'll also get Carrie's wedding look together. So Elsie is aged up. Let's see, what do we not have? So I guess we'll make her a geek for now. And uh, you guys can let me know if you guys envision her being any certain way. But right now, I can't quite envision her story. Okay, so let's... Aw, Charles sent her a gift. That's so sweet. So she aged up with a tiara <laughs> and red hair, but she definitely had closer to black hair. So here she is. I've taken off her red hair and her tiara because I do not want her to have red hair. So I'm going to go give everyone their makeovers and I will be right back. Aged up. I went with a red theme for her and I also gave her short hair because of the fact that um, it's the 1920s. It was just a more common haircut and I also made her clothes a little bit older because again Alice is an older mom. She probably would dress her a little bit more dated with hand-me-downs. Not so much with brand new fashions, you know, but she does have the shorter hair. Um, now for, who else did we do? Oh, so for Harry's wedding look, I changed Harry to his dad's hair. Oh, he looks so good. Um, I just changed his suit to black. That's all I changed. And then here is beautiful Carrie in her beautiful wedding outfit. I think she looks absolutely stunning and I'm so excited for them to get married. So let's go 
jump back into the game and get these two cutie pies married. So I think he's just gonna say to her, you know, like, I'm aware that this isn't like the plan that we had, that you had for your life. This isn't the plan. This family is so busy. I feel like we should move them out. But yeah, this isn't the plan that you had for your life. I know this isn't the plan that I had for my life, but I just want you to know that I am genuinely serious about dedicating myself to you. You know, I'm gonna do the best I can to be the best husband that I can. And, you know, I just hope that we will be able to, over time, grow a relationship that, you know, is just as strong as anyone else's. And hopefully we will be able to, you know, make it work, you know. And I genuinely do care for Stanley. I mean, I know this is all new. It's not like it just... You know, like, it wasn't planned, it's not the way things uh, are supposed to go or expected, but he definitely wants her to know that he has feelings for her. So he wants to do it the right way, so he is gonna propose to her. Aww, and he gave him her, his mom's old ring from her dad, which I think is so sweet. So she said yes, they are engaged. So tomorrow morning, I guess, no, these two can go right now. So they've decided they're gonna go do their elope. So they're gonna take mom and Carrie cause they need a witness and they're just gonna go down to city hall. You know, it's gonna be a really, like I said, quiet and private event. So they've all arrived at City Hall and there's actually just like a little um, wedding area here. So we are going to have them come over and get married. I'm going to have Alice come over here and sit for it. And they are having a very quiet private wedding with Alice there to witness their nuptials. Now, I don't think this is something that was ever planned, but I do genuinely think that these two are going to be good together. I think Carrie is actually more perfect for Harry than we ever thought. Um, and I think as Harry continues to struggle through his depression and PTSD, PTSD in life, Carrie is really going to be the one factor that keeps him together. And I think that that's pretty cool. <laughs> Mom's like, hey, I'm over it. <laughs> and I believe you guys, they are married. So cute. So what we'll make sure in the next uh, part to make sure Alice gets a painting of them in their wedding attire. Um, and we'll also get some photos. So I'm going to send them home and I'm going to let Harry and um, Carrie have a nice moment together finally as a married couple. <laughs> That's so funny, Carrie and Harry are merry. <laughs> Alrighty, so everyone is back home. I think these two need to go do some woohoos together. They'll have a little bit of privacy. So they finally have their own bed that they can share as husband and wife instead of hooking up in a closet. So that's very exciting. I'm so happy that they have like their own private space where it still feels like they have their own home. Um, I really wanted to make sure of that. Okay, so the two of them have finally gotten married. I'm very happy for them. I think that they are on honestly going to be so happy together. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the decision. Um, like I said, based on the research I've done, I feel like out of the choices that were made back then, that one was the one that made the most sense for Harry and for uh, beautiful Carrie. And I'm very excited to explore this type of relationship. You know, a husband and wife that got married because of you know, an unexpected child that it wasn't necessarily formed on love and how a bond can grow over time. And also the um, aspect of Harry um, being a war veteran 
how his mental state might change and you know how that can affect the wives of soldiers. So I'm super excited about that and I am gonna say bye for now.